all right what is up everybody coming back at you with another video on the channel today and can you guys believe it we have got another medford um this is medford number nine or ten in the current collection um i have gone full fanboy and that is okay <laughs> um no not full fanboy i understand uh they make mistakes they've made a couple with knives i've had um, but anyways, I put out my video for the MIDI Marauder last, and then I'll probably upload this video next, uh, before the one you're watching. So if you're looking for a ProTech Malibu exclusive 3V video, go check out my channel. That should be up. And we've got another Medford. Um, you guys know the deal. Let's show you what we got. We've got the Enblay S45VN. Um, tumbled standard on the grind, uh, faced and flamed with blue anodizing on the show side, spring side, blue anodizing, PVD hardware, PVD clip. So this is the first time I've went with a, um, a full on, guys, I I've shown these boxes so many times. We're going to skip it. If you don't know what's in there, there's a warranty card and a COA magic every other medford video in the world spends five minutes on that so check this thing out with that faced um they face the side um my other face knives are my uh, slim midi and my marauder h uh they're also faced there i'm trying something different with my lighting uh, i don't know if it's going to be better or not um i figured i'd try it out here hopefully so um, about to hit 700 subscribers by the way guys i really appreciate you on that road to 1000 then we can get monetized i uh, won't make much um but it'll be cool to you know see some profits back from this hobby even if it's a few dollars i think it'll be cool um i started these videos you know over a year ago just for fun and they've kind of slowly progressed and you know they're still just for fun uh, this is my hobby, and I just like showing these awesome knives with you guys, and hopefully you enjoy looking at them. Anyways, let's get into this on belay. So, this is full custom flame anodizing done by hand by Medford uh, in their factory. You can see here, some better angles. It really shows off. You get some bronze up here into the blue with the crazy wave pattern. Um, I've seen a couple of these full flame anode scales before but i've just never picked one up um you can see this one this one's pretty popular this one's also faced but they'll just do the lines or like right here with the hoops kind of um but this one is a full flame anodized scale and i wasn't i liked it in the pictures and i got it and i wasn't sure if i liked it but i think it's growing on me um like i said before the back side is kind of a dark blue uh, anodized. I really like that blue color. And then I normally don't, I like flamed hardware and clip. Um, but the black, but the PVD hardware with the PVD backspacer and this big old clip, uh, I like how that turned out. I think it's a good subtle look. Now I've had this one about a week. Let's get an action check. Reverse flick. Oh, yes. Now I will say first thing I noticed on this knife is the ergos. This is probably the best ergonomic Medford I've ever held. I've got a bunch. I've got these and I've got more. I've got an infraction that's actually coming back from warranty service. It'll be back tomorrow. I've got this 187. The ergos are decent on this, but it's still kind of blocky. Um, also, I've got that Praetorian T up there. I've also got this one. The ergos are good on this. They're just a little different and it's a little bit of a thinner scaled knife uh versus something like this um now the marauder the mini marauder and the marauder h the ergos are good they've chamfered these edges well they're just very neutral um you know you feel like you can kind of grab anywhere you're not super locked into it in in any one spot i feel now on this on the on belay i immediately feel locked in uh your hand just kind of falls in place uh, it's got the main finger groove up there, and then slightly curved for three fingers, and then the pinky kind of hangs there. And you can see how that works there. Works pretty well. Um, 
yeah, Ergos are great. I do wish he had put a finger toil like on the Marauder H or the MIDI Marauder. I think would have taken this thing to another level, being able to choke up. Um, kind of a standard blade shape with the drop point. I like the full cutout hole. Um, you know, the, uh, the relief cut is nice and it works good. Um, but kind of like, uh, the 187 and the infraction, um, you get the full cutout hole and I like being able to dig my finger all the way in there to get those flicks. Uh, you can also get your thumb in there and I don't know why, but when I do it this way, that sound is just ridiculous. Oh, I got to show this off real quick. The sound when I do it on this, um, just listen, golly, I mean that, that like echoes, it sounds like someone's breaking a bone in half. Oh, it's ridiculous. So look at the action on this thing after a few weeks. Almost drop shut. Wild. Do an action check on the Marauder H. Ooh. Oh, so close to drop shut. If you swing it just right, one little shake and it comes down. So whoever told you Medfords don't have good action is a liar. Um, so let's go over everything we get with this one. I keep choking on that. Of course, on camera, S45 VM blade steel. Kind of like Chris Reeve, they're slowly moving into S45. I feel like as they deplete their S35 stock. Um, very similar. I, mean, I do like both. Um, I've had a lot of S45 from Spyderco and whatnot now. Um, so this is a big knife. This is actually a, pretty much the same size as the Marauder H very very similar in size um if you're familiar with that knife uh 187 comparison a lot more people have the 187 almost the exact same size as well let's get it next to hinder eclipse it's a full tie scale you can see i mean it is it is a big big knife guys we'll do a pair of two a lot of people have pair of twos you can see still dwarfs the pair of two as well um, moving in, obviously these huge titanium slabs for handles, uh, just super thick, big, thick backspacer back here. I love a good backspacer, especially on a med for knife with that lanyard loop. I think it really adds a little bit of a, a special touch to it just to give it that extra oomph. On the back, you get a lock bar stabilizer, um, your standard six barrel pivot. You've got a huge clip back here. It's kind of a weird clip. I really like it though, because as a lefty to reverse flick a knife, I have to get on the clip. So I can get way up, pretty much where I would get right-handed. You see I'm right under that. On this side, I can get all the way up there and get a really good reverse flick off that clip. Uh, that's why I ordered a CKF Evo 3.0 Sunday. Yeah, big grail. Um, got one of those from NC Blade. Hopefully, I uh, ordered it Sunday. Today's Monday. I got UPS next day air. So hopefully it gets here tomorrow. Fingers crossed, UPS actually delivers it. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, it, they, what I was saying is the clip on that one's pretty big too, so you can get on it for a solid re uh, reverse flick there. Um, action on this baby. It's only about a week old. I've played with it some. I mean, we're almost drop shut, guys. Just a little shake and a half, and she's there. Perfectly centered, as you can see. Absolutely perfectly centered. Um, this pivot did come loose when I got it, so I was able, I put some Loctite on there, centered it perfect, um, and I had a little bit of room to get the action where I wanted it while keeping it perfectly centered, and that's where we ended up, and this thing's going to break in and just get completely drop shut, and I'm here for it, guys. I am here for it. Um, the way I got this on belay, I had a MIDI Marauder. It was a full terminator with flamed hardware did not have the backspacer well it had an issue where the blade when you closed it you could touch the blade from like right here and it actually cut me well i contacted medford and amy medford was like hey you know send that back into us that's not right we'll get you a whole new knife but there's going to be a lead time and i was like well you know that's cool they're going to do that but i don't want to wait so I contacted DLT Trading, um, talked to Jordan there. He was awesome. I sent it right back to him. Um, and I picked up this envelope with the store credit from there since I had, I had already got this in the meantime. 
um, check out my video on that mini marauder really cool version it has the pinstripes check that video out um, anyways but i'm pretty sure dlt just put that medford back on their site and that didn't love that and i think they have done that to me um, because it was in the new knives category but when i got it the coa was eight months old so i'm thinking that knives got sold and returned multiple times and they just put it back on the site uh anyways you know i love dlt they've always been great to me uh, that was a little questionable though i can't prove it but i'm almost positive anyways i guess i could buy it again but not that committed um overall i really like this thing uh this would be a tank of an edc knife um it's kind of like the marauder h um but a little more edcable just with the ergos um and it's it's still pretty but it's, it's not just like so nice you don't even want to scratch it like the marauder h um and like i said th these argos really are solid um big titanium clip titanium hardware um man i'm really digging it uh, i do like the face and flame scale let's do a quick cut test and then i think we'll wrap this thing up here oh yes she came screaming sharp fellas they are doing it right over at Medford, let me tell you. Now, when they do have their issues, uh, my experiences with customer service have been fantastic. And I'm going to make a video on my customer service experience with my infraction. And uh, as long as it's delivered, no issues tomorrow, it'll be a great experience. So, fingers crossed, UPS can pull that off. We'll see. Um, but, anyways, yeah, Medford Envoy. Awesome knife, kind of like the Marauder H. I hadn't seen a ton of videos. Um, there's one or two, but there's not many, you know, like full going over. It's checking out the action. Um, but yeah, it's a phosphor bronze washer knife, like most Medfords, except for a select few. Uh, big lock face. Oh, another cool thing is your external stop pin here gets hidden when it's opened and when it's closed. It's kind of cool. You can see the slots cutting to the scales there. So I know that took a little extra milling. Um, but yeah, I, I really love this. The, one of my favorites. Um, I love playing with it. I love playing with the Marauder. I love playing with my USMC Fighter Flipper. Funnily enough, I don't love flipping my Praetorian T. Uh, it's, it's cool to have, definitely a grill knife. Uh, but I don't know, there's just something about it. it. It's not as enjoyable to play with. I think because it's harder to manipulate left-handed have to get way up in here um anyway still love the knife super tank uh but yeah guys that's the marauder h um you know got the like i said got the ckf evo 3.0 on the way super excited for that haven't been that excited since i bought my arius um but yeah i was able to snag one of those for retail i just happened to catch a drop fantastic super pumped um so got that Got my infraction coming back, and it looks like there's going to be a Brian Brown Raptor drop in the next few days. Might try to snag one of those. Uh, might sell something first. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is the Medford Ombale. Uh Subscribe to the channel if you like the video. Check out some of my other videos, and have yourself a great day.